As you can tell by the excitement in my face, the holidays are upon us. And I could tell a couple weeks ago, right after Halloween, I was, um, I heard this awful racket outside. Terrible racket. So it was two cats fighting to the death. So I was about to get my bucket of water to break up the fight. Turned out it was just a car radio playing All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Ah, ah, all I Want Christmas is You. So you know the holidays are upon us. And, and then I went to a Walmart and there was this little punk by the phones and all the electronic equipment. So I was like, um, I was like looking at this little punk and there was this lady beside him. And he was just going, I want an iPhone now. Everybody else uh, has an iPhone. Why can't I have an iPhone? And the lady was explaining, well, honey, the problem is, is that, you know, we have bills to pay. We have the car payment. We have all the rent and everything else. We can't do it. And little punk was like, I don't care. I want the, I want the phone now. And Lay warned her, if he keeps carrying on, they're going to go back to the car. And he was screaming, you know, I don't care. Why can't I get an iPhone? I want an iPhone, damn it. So his wife took him home. And, uh, you know, that's the last I seen him, the little punk. But that's, um, but that's what, what's going on. It's just like, and then, oh, God. And then we got, like, Thanksgiving. Or as I like to call, National Fight With Your Relatives Day. And it's the usual cast every time. The usual cast. You got your, your drunken uncle or your drunken father, sometimes both. Then you have your sister or cousin. Um, who always brings a new date to, uh, to Thanksgiving. She always brings this new guy every Thanksgiving dinner. And they break up by Christmas. And it's a mystery date because you don't know who's going to be. Last year, it was some guy that just got out of prison. The year before that, it was a uh, cult leader. And then, um, and that's my cat. He's the heckler. Um, coming, buddy. But anyway, so yeah, you, so you have all these people that uh, this girl brings in every year. And um, this year, the guy looks normal. Except for the snake tattoo on his neck. So, you know, so then you got that. You, so you got the mystery date wo uh, woman and you got the, uh, and you got the drunken father slash uncle slash both. This is the South. And then you have like the, uh, the brother or the cousin, the other cousin who like dropped out of college for the third time. Actually dropped out of, uh, med school so he could be a florist. Yeah. You know, just bad decisions, or that's what they say, you know, after a couple of, like, uh, wild turkeys. And isn't it, isn't it funny that uh, uh, highly potent whiskey is named after the the official animal of the United States or the official animal of Thanksgiving? I mean, you're eating turkey and drinking wild turkey, and sometimes in some of these things, it's, you do both. But, so, yeah, so you got the... So you got the dropout dreamer, and then you got the mystery date woman, and you got the drunken guy, and then you got the couple, and we know what to talk about. They put on this nice act, they have kids, and they all look nice and everything, but every year when they come, they're always on the break of divorce, every year, and they have a foil. They have their four-year-old daughter, who every year for the past couple years... Satan's let it go from Frozen. Then they have to put her on the table. And she sings just to throw smoke off the couple bickering and bantering and everything. So here, so here's a little girl. Let it go. And she only knows three words of the song. Let it go. 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 And then you hear John. I want a divorce. And then John's leg going, Jesus. Jane, why you why do you do this every year? 
And why would you have this little... She can't say no more three words to tell him. She's not going to be on American Idol anytime soon. And so you got that going on. And then and they got like... Um, the, the mother, the hero of the the hero of the uh, Thanksgiving dinner, and she's this weathered woman, been th been through everything, got off work yesterday just to get this just get the stuff for Thanksgiving, had the turkey in the oven for uh, us at six a.m. and she's like the she's a peaceful one. That's because she took two Xanax this morning. So it's like she's, she, so she's the peaceful person. So, and there's Aunt Clara, and she always makes her world famous green bean casserole. And so, so, you know, so John and Jane are fighting, and it's like going, and Jane, why are you never home? I have to take care of these little brats, and all you do is like hang out with your friends, drinking. Yeah, what am I going to do? And all of a sudden, here comes mom. So, what do you think about the turkey this year? John, I still want a divorce. So, you want some uh, green beans? Aunt Clara made it by scratch. And there's, and meanwhile, Aunt Clara is like down underneath the table. Uh drinking uh, banana daiquiris that the guy with the snake tattoo on the, on the neck made. So, um, yeah, so it's, so that's the thing about, to sum up Thanksgiving dinner, it's basically chaos. Um, it's, it's chaos. It's just it's all this craziness and everything. Uh, alcohol, politics, and Cowboys game. So you know this is not going to be a good day. I mean, sometimes we just got to get it, but, you know, we're, we're here for the family, how dysfunctional uh, as they were. But before I go, I want to, like, uh, go back to, like, my days in Long Island. It was just me and my mom, and we would go to these uh, Thanksgiving dinners and everything, and we were just happy to just have each other uh, before I figured out my mom was also a pain in the ass. But I still love her. But when I was young... I was like, um, my mom used to like take us out walking around the uh, neighborhood, go to the rich part, of the, rich part of the neighborhood, uh, to look at the Christmas lights, and they had everything, the music, the lights, and everything. But the best house on the block was always by the Italians. The Italians always had the best house around Christmas time, and um, it was like. And every year, it was like Frank Sinatra saying it was all these lights and everything. It was like this extravaganza. And I noticed at the Italian house, there was this snowman that looked actually human. And I always heard rumors about this family. Um, I can't mention the name of this family, by the way, because uh, I'll be breaking into witness protection program. But still, there were rumors that they were in the mafia. But anyway, back to the snowman. So the snowman was, like, um, real. I mean, he looked like a real man. I mean, he looked perfectly like a man. Anatomically perfect. Turned out it was um, uh, Vinny Vespucci. Um, he forgot to pay his bookie. But, um, but yeah, that's the whole thing. It's like he... Um, we, but that meat locker always kept him fresh. But anyway, so that's what I got today. Um, hope you like it. Um, I will be at the, um, and by the way, I'll be at the um, Mary Wayne Factory, uh, first and third Wednesday of every month, and also I will be doing a show at the Back 40, um, January 22nd of 2022 on Saturday, and I'll give you more details as time goes on. Until then, boys and girls, sayonara.